Not too long ago, we put out a video where I critiqued some TikTok cleaning videos and it got quite the positive reception because I think a lot of people feel frustrated by what they see on TikTok when it comes to cleaning tips. So in this video, we're just gonna dive in and have a look at some more of those TikTok videos and see which ones are good, if any, and which ones need a, a little bit of tweaking. Okay, so I have my AirPods in so I can hear if there's any voiceover. You are gonna thank me for thank this budget-friendly budget grout budget. cleaning trick. Cleaning trick. Take a tube of toothpaste, spread the toothpaste along the grout line, toothpaste. grab your toothbrush, a lot of product. and just scrub aggressively. In Hope that's not the regular toothbrush. Into the grout line, and then take a damp cloth, wipe it away. Once the grout is dry, oh, wow. it'll be good as new. You're welcome. I'm not gonna thank you for that budget-friendly tip because the grout line actually didn't look much better watching that. It was underwhelming. You had a cute idea about using toothpaste, especially a gel toothpaste. But what I would have liked to see happen here would have been less expensive and get even better results. What I would have done here instead is I would have made a pretty heavy duty paste of probably three parts baking soda, one part hydrogen peroxide. I would have used an old cleaning toothbrush if it were just one line that had a grout stain. Otherwise I would use a larger scrub brush perhaps one with a big handle or an iron handle scrub brush. That way you can sort of tackle more with less effort. Uh, and then I would clean the grout line. Following that, I would use a rinse with water because baking soda gets a little bit gritty. You might even want to mop the floor if you're doing the entire floor. Uh, and then you would actually see much better results. And the other thing I'll say is following this, you would want to seal your grout so that your grout doesn't become discolored. The reason why this is happening in this video and to all of us that have grout on our tiles is because over time we're walking with bare feet, we're mopping with dirty mops and dirty mop water and dirt's just falling on the floor, darkening up your grout. If your grout is sealed, it will look better. So I really appreciate that this person was trying to be budget conscious, but I just think toothpaste is a really expensive an inefficient way to get your grout cleaned. Okay, next up. You know oh God, this guy. Baking soda with juice. some fresh lemon juice. Okay, okay. And some white vinegar. Okay. Dish soap. And water. and water. Like, who is using this beaker? You can remove any stains from your clothes. No, you can't. You cannot remove any stain from your clothes with that. Sorry, sir. That is not an old toothbrush. An old toothbrush for a dog? No. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, literally no. I'm so sorry. I know, I know people love this guy. I know they do, and he is so charismatic, but that combination is not gonna get rid of a stain. He might, he might be onto something with one or two of those elements. Baking soda could potentially help lift out parts of a stain. Lemon juice is a little bit acidic. It could help potentially lift out parts of a stain, but mixing vinegar and baking soda together, we know just turns into water. The lemon juice, the dish soap, also, which can help remove stains. Like he was just throwing a whole bunch of stuff into a tube to make up a stain remover. And then I can just tell you from what I saw that that was not an actual stain that he was removing. Like I feel like he might've swapped shirts out. Can't say for sure, but that's kind of what it looked like to me. If you want to get rid of a stain, there are way better ways to do it than going and squeezing the juice of a lemon and using a beaker and vinegar, da, 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 da. like there are pre-made products for that. If you're in a pinch, you can grab some Dawn dish soap. If you're in a pinch, you can grab some liquid laundry detergent. You can also pick up a product like Folex, which is magical for removing stains, as well as the Pure C Natural Stain Remover, which I talk about all the time. Here's the thing. This guy is so charismatic and his videos are fun and awesome to watch, but there is a better way to get the job done. And when it comes to laundry and removing laundry stains, you wanna get it right the first time. So A, you're not wasting your time and B, sometimes with stains, you really have one chance to get it done right before you have to work really hard. So you wanna throw your best effort at it first. Good thing my AirPods are in for this ASMR video. ice, toilet cleaner, some cream, I'm trying not to swear, stirring it, <sighs> so much product, more baking soda. Oh my God, what is, like who sh est in that toilet that she needed to use this much product? But that fresh smell after are so satisfying. Okay, wow, okay, so the ice, I gotta tell you, completely unnecessary. This is a toilet and not a cocktail. Although it does look like she's making a cocktail here. 
there's no need to put baking soda in if you're using a toilet bowl cleaner. Okay, you don't need, you don't need to double up. Your toilet should never look that foamy when you're cleaning it. It just means you're putting too much product in there. I gotta say this again. Baking soda, more liquid. Then she stirs it around like a cocktail. Yep, just a little swizzle stick there. And then I think that's vinegar. Okay, so I don't know what she poured in there to make the baking soda bubbly, but I'm gonna assume it's vinegar because how else would it get foamy and bubbly? If you're putting toilet bowl cleaner in and baking soda, you really don't wanna add vinegar because toilet bowl cleaner often contains bleach, vinegar plus bleach, bleach. Vinegar plus beach would probably be a nice vacation. Vinegar plus bleach equals a problem. All right, that's a toxic gas that can be created. So what I see in this video is someone who makes ASMR content and really wanted to toss ice cubes in there for some absolutely bizarre reason. Um, she used way too much product. And unless like an elephant was taking a dump in there, there is no reason why she needed to clean the toilet with that much product and do it twice. Like first she used a purple one, then she used a blue one. I'm pretty sure the purple one could have handled the whole thing. All right. So this is one of the things that I see on TikTok a lot when people are just, you know, product overloading or doing something just for the sake of ASMR and like, God bless this woman, build your following, do your thing. But it's the misleading information that bugs me. So the things that she did wrong that I want to make sure you don't your toilet doesn't need ice. Your toilet doesn't need two different types of toilet bowl cleaner. If you're using toilet bowl cleaner, you don't need baking soda. If you're using toilet bowl cleaner, you don't need, you don't need vinegar, all right? And if you're cleaning a toilet with baking soda and vinegar, just pick one because both are gonna cancel each other out. Hope that helps. That was a lot of information. I need a cocktail. ASMR has blessed us with another video, so I'm gonna be really quiet to watch it. Oh. Comet in the sink. Yep, she's using three cups of Comet and then tons and tons and tons of dish soap. You see, when you do something like this, it's just extra work for you. You are literally dumping product down the sink. She could have done that with a tablespoon of Comet and a half tablespoon of dish soap. This is just, can you imagine? She's gonna have to waste so much more water rinsing that. I can assure you as someone who makes content, she was probably running that water for three to five minutes because that was so much product that was caked on there. Yeah, who cares? You're not showing us anything we don't already know. Yeah, and for all of you that complain about waste of uh, resources and poor water use, it's videos like this that are contributing to that. So if you need to clean your sink and you wanna scour your sink, it's not that any of the products she used were wrong, she just could have gone about it in a better way. So. The Comet, a powdered cleanser, totally fine. If you wanted to scale back using a non-bleach based product, you could use a product like Barkeeper's Friend. <gasps> Puts like a gorgeous sheen, gorgeous, on your sink. You could also use baking soda. You could also use just a bit of dish soap. I put dish soap on a, a scrub square and I just clean the sink. Now she also used a, a sink and dish cleaning brush, kind of that angled brush which is fine if you wanna do that. I actually find the scrub square easier to use because it covers more surface area. So again, it's more efficient. And as I said earlier, she did use too much product. So if you're gonna use dish soap, when I do that, I probably squirt somewhere between a half tablespoon to a tablespoon across the entire, the two sinks, um, instead of what she did, which was just pfft, pfft. And if you're gonna use powdered cleanser, you probably need no more than a tablespoon. Once you're done all of that scrubbing, you can give it a quick rinse. And if you have to rinse and then rinse some more and then rinse some more, that's your sign that you've used too much product. And if you want that final beautiful sheen on your sink, you can get a microfiber cloth and simply buff the sink and it will look professionally cleaned. And just a little news flash here. This is the time of year where we put makerscleancom on our best sale. It is the Black Friday sale. It is on right now. Go to makerscleancom load up your cart. If you have been holding off on buying Makers Clean products, now is your time. The entire website has some sort of markdown going on. We've got some door crashers. We've got some bundles. We've got great specials. We have some things on there that are marked down up to 50% off. So go to makersclean.com. I've also got a link for you down below to check out. All right, here is the next one. Oh, oh, more stuff, more ice, powder, more toilet bowl cleaner. The That is like my favorite color. I love that shade of pink. And then that spray, wow. 
So this is, I mean, this is one of those toilet overload videos. Like what is even with the ice? Looks like Pepto-Bismol in someone's stomach. I can't. The poor toilet. Like how is the toilet handling this right now? I can't even handle it. And then they're putting in one of these stampy things, which I genuinely do not. Like you, if you are cleaning your toilet this thoroughly, the stampy things are not necessary. The stampy things are for people that just don't clean their toilet. Also, just like personal, I, I'm not loving that song, all right? Anyway, um, this is again, just your classic toilet overload video, ASMR with the crinkly, um, the ice cubes, like all the things that sort of bring in the viewers, but it's not actually teaching you how to do the job properly. So I don't know what that powder was. I've never tried it before. Um, but what I can tell you is toilets, like they're not that desperate for that much cleaning product, unless you're cleaning like a public toilet at a nightclub at four in the morning after a Saturday, you know, where they're bringing in DJ Tiesto, you're not going to need that much product. All right. When you are cleaning a toilet, pick your, I was going to say pick your poison, but I feel like that wouldn't go down too well. Just pick your cleaning product of choice, whether it's a powdered cleanser. I clean my toilet on the weekend. I used a bit of Barkeeper's Friend. It was perfect. You know, just a bit, just shake it around. Use your toilet bowl brush, leave the ice for the cocktails and you're good. All right. And the stampy things, they're so unnecessary. You don't need them. All right. What do we have now? Five cleaning hacks. Five cleaning hacks to make your bathroom deodorants and soft and baking soda. Okay, listen, it's not, I gotta pause it. It's not that baking soda isn't gonna work, just there are better ways to do it. Denture tablets in the sink to whiten without scrubbing. Eh, it's weak. No, it doesn't really deodorize drains. White vinegar and dish soap in the dish brush to clean your bath. Yeah, that works. Listen, that's an efficient use of product. Oh God, the shaving cream with the freaking toilet and the mop. Please don't do this. No. Okay. No. Yeah, so you're not gonna do that. All right, let's just go through these one by one. Gosh, these are so, my brain cannot work this way. This is why I struggle on TikTok. Like whose brain works this fast? All right, so first, what did we do first here? Wait a minute, hold on lady. All right, the first thing she did was she put baking soda on her towels and the rugs to deodorize them. So if you're using a good laundry detergent, it should deodorize. So I always say use a premium laundry detergent, that way you get the job done right the first time. I'm also a very big fan, I think you know at this point, of Downy Rinse and Refresh, which is a deodorizer that you can use um, and works better than vinegar, baking soda, or absolutely anything else that I have tried. Denture tablets soak in your sink and toilet to whiten without scrubbing. So this is one of those hacks where like, it in theory could work, but you're spending money on a denture tablet where you could actually just use a product like baking soda or even a little bit of borax and you would get the same results. Like if you wanted to do that, you could plug your sink, sprinkle in some borax. You could add some borax to your toilet, like a cup of borax, leave it overnight. You would get the same results. So you can save your money on the denture tablets or you can just give them to your grandparents. By the way, you would have to scrub. Like, of course you would have to scrub. There's gonna be residue left behind. Um, and if your sinks are dirty and you're not scrubbing, you're gonna have powder stuck over the invisible residue like the soap scum, and then you're just gonna get more buildup, so please. Uh, as this mix drains, it also deodorizes your drains. Eh, like denture tablets are not drain deodorizers. If you wanna do that, put a cup of baking soda in your drains and then add some hot water or some boiling vinegar. That is one time where it actually will work that will help deodorize or pick up a drain deodorizing product. The one I really like is called Green Gobbler. Um, those are actually designed to do the job well and correctly. Like, listen, I have no problems with hacks. It's just, if they don't work or if you're gonna do something and you're wasting your time or your money, like I'm gonna tell you. Now this one with the equal parts vinegar and dish soap and the dish brush, no comment there. It's a great tip. Good, like she's sharing some good information. This is good. No, the shaving cream is a no. The shaving cream is a straight up no. It's an expensive product and it's messy. So I looked into this and the reason why people want to use shaving cream is because they say that it has emollients and, and surfactants. Like, okay, so you could do that with soap. So if you need to clean, quote unquote, the splash zone of your toilet, rather than using shaving cream, just use that same mixture, vinegar, dish soap. You can add some water. I would even do a third, a third, a third. And I would spray that area. Then I would clean it. Um, with a mop or with a sponge 
probably use the Cinderella method, which I know you're probably thinking that's more work, but trust me, shaving cream is a freaking mess and it's not gonna clean this area. If you have a really stinky area around your toilet, it's gonna need some investment of time, effort, and product. And once that's done, you've gotta work hard to maintain it. Another thing that's really great for that area, enzyme cleaners, something like back out would work really well for that. Another toilet one. Start with toilet cleaner, put two cups of it. Oh my God, no. You don't put two cups of vinegar into the toilet. If you've used toilet bowl cleaner, you don't put baking soda in there. Huge waste, let it sit for 10 minutes. Absolutely not required. Scrub it, no. Okay, so you know what? I know why people do these kinds of videos because they get the views, but this is not how to clean and disinfect a toilet. You wanna know how to disinfect a toilet? Use a disinfectant, that's what you do. So you apply the disinfectant and you let it sit for the prescribed period of time and then you clean it. But the disinfectant is actually the second part of a two-step process. The first step is cleaning the toilet. So she got one part right, putting in toilet bowl cleaner, and you can let that sit for a little bit of time. And if you're lucky, some of your toilet bowl cleaners will actually be disinfectants as well, in which case you only need to do one job. Just read the package, and if it says, disinfecting toilet bowl cleaner, let it sit for five to 10 minutes, start your timer, <laughs> scrub, flush the toilet, and you are done. So. Again, good, she got the views, but she didn't do the technique correctly. And I wanna point out two mistakes that I saw here. First, we added vinegar after we added toilet bowl cleaner. This is a big no. Toilet bowl cleaner might have bleach in it. The vinegar and the bleach cause a very dangerous reaction, so you never wanna mix those. And secondly, vinegar and baking soda cancel each other out. So it's essentially like she's pouring water down the toilet. All right, what do we have here? Make your bathtub sparkle. Soak towels in vinegar. Place over the faucets, yeah, that'll work. Add baking soda to the drain, sure. Followed by vinegar, she could have waited 20 minutes. Add, whoa, too much going on too fast. Again, this is the point where my brain and mouth cannot keep up. Sprinkle the baking soda all over the surfaces, yep. Apply dish soap, she is using a lot of dish soap. Scrub it with a soft sponge, yep. Rinse well. So listen, I don't disagree with anything here. I gotta hand it to her. I don't disagree with anything here. Well, there's one thing I disagree with. I think the baking, too. I think the baking soda, she could have let sit in the drain for 20 minutes, and then she could have added boiling vinegar. And the second thing is, I think she used a lot of dish soap. But aside from that, um, soaking the towels in vinegar and then putting them over the faucets helps to break down hard water stains. Putting baking soda and vinegar down the drain helps to deodorize them and then scrubbing the tub with the soft sponge plus the vinegar and dish soap is like the perfect soap scum cleaner and I'm sure her tub was perfectly clean and felt amazing afterwards. So yeah, good for you. This is a good one. This is one of the good ones. I wanna be clear, I'm not a hater. Very happy for people who are nailing it on TikTok. Frankly, I'm a little bit jealous, but at the same time, I am all about putting out good information that helps people clean faster and more efficiently without wasting time, money, or resources. So if I see something that's not smart, I'ma call it out. But if I see something that works, I'm gonna let you know as well. And that brings me to this common question, which is, what are some of the most whack videos that you have seen? Whether it's a YouTube short, an Instagram reel, or a TikTok. I'd love to see the link. I wanna see it. Maybe I'll mention it in an upcoming video. Or if there's been a hack or a tip that you have picked up from a reel, a short, or a TikTok, I'd also love to know about it because you can genuinely find some really great and helpful stuff on there. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.